Fire ants are attracted to electrical currents, and that's why they chew through wiring, causing short circuits. And if a fire ant touches a live electrical component, it gets electrocuted. But then, the burnt ant involuntarily releases a pheromone that signals to its friends to join the party. The fire ant uses its strong mandibles to bite your skin, but actually, its bite isn't to hurt you, but it's to anchor itself. Once it's locked into position, it uses its stinger to inject a powerful venom in you, and that's what causes that painful burning sensation. Even worse, it'll pivot in a circle, singing you multiple times, and at the same time, it releases a pheromone that signals to its friends to join in on the attack. During a flood, fire ants make a living raft in just two minutes, and actually it can float for weeks. The fire ants link their bodies together. This traps tiny pockets of air between their bodies. Ants at the bottom of the raft, they don't drown because the pockets of air allow them to get oxygen even if they're underwater. And if they do run out of oxygen, those ants can still survive up to several hours by going into low energy mode. The reason why they make these living rafts is to keep the queen and her larvae safe during rainstorms. Long live the queen. Subscribe.